Hello everyone, I've put together a node group in Blender that um, shows an effect that uh, I hadn't seen before and thought might be of interest. Um, it's it's kind of a displacement effect, um, but in my um, uh, a never ending search for a good uh, nebula type cloud effect uh, that can be animated quite quickly, um, I've come across um, this 2D distortion uh, effect um, that I've um, put together in a node group. Um, uh, and uh, I'm, it's it 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 it's just takes a little while to get your head around how it works. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, I'm going to show you how the node group works. Uh, I've put the node group up on Blender Market uh, and Gumroad, um, but I'll show you how it works. Um, so uh, all these example files I've I've put up uh, for download, um, uh, and uh, the way it works. Uh, I'll just show you uh, by um, making sure that Node Wrangler is uh, enabled. That will uh, allow me to preview the nodes uh, by uh, Control Shift clicking on them. So if I show you the distortion map that uh, that will distort this picture here. Um, so here it's just a very basic uh, gradient. Um, it uh, starts from black and works all its way up to white. Uh, and this will show you how the distortion uh, is calculated. Um, so it goes through the distortion node um, and then it comes out as a UV map that you can apply to uh, textures or nodes uh, for distortion. So um, the green box in the middle is the actual node group um, uh, and what's being fed into it is the UV map and the color map. So if I change the horizontal displacement amount so it displaces uh, by a certain amount. You can see that it's pushing the image together uh, and the vertical amount is pushing it in, diff in another direction and what's, what's happening is the darker values are pushing it in one direction and the whiter values are, are pushing it in the opposite direction and this uh, can create some quite interesting effects. So if I just open up um, another file I've done, again this is an example of one I've bundled uh, in Blender Market and Gun Road. Um, if I just enable the viewport uh, there, um, you can see I've just I've just got a, st a static image uh, that I've created from the nebula generator uh, and applied to a plane here. But you can apply it to other objects as well. There's nothing stopping you doing that. Uh, and I've got a similar setup here. But what I'm doing is I'm distorting the image just by simple noise texture. It's kind of like a cloudy texture here. Um, uh, and you, so you've got white and dark values again uh, and uh, you'll see if I um, uh, if I just distort this image so I'll, so I'll just apply some horizontal distort, distortion and you can see that it's kind of almost a 3D effect um, that it that it manipulates the, 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 the image in a certain way so this would be quite useful uh, in certain circumstances, like little sort of background parallax effects, as you can see, if I stretch it too much, then it then it bends bends things too much, and then it doesn't get a good effect. But for subtle effects, like kind of wavy effects and those sorts of things, um, it might be quite useful. So what I'll do now is I'll just uh, zoom in uh, and show you how the node group is working. Um, so uh, I've I put lots of text to explain, but it's it's pretty simple actually. So what it's doing um, is it will convert the image to um, a grayscale value uh, image, and then it will extract one of the RGB values, which will all be the same at this stage. Uh, and then it converts those RGB values um, uh, from a range of zero meaning black to one meaning white to minus one to one. So it just does a mapping of one range to another. Uh, and then I can use that um, information uh, to multiply the X and Y direction of the UV mapping um, uh, by a certain amount. So the whiter uh, it gets, it will push it quite uh, dramatically in one direction. And then going through to kind of gray, it won't um, adjust it at all. And then down to black, it will move it um, in the opposite direction. Um, uh, and that's what's creating the effect. So you can do things like change the, that range if you wanted to have a little play around uh, inside the node group. There's nothing stopping you doing that. So I'll just show you another example of uh, this where I had a little play and um, 
has uh, got quite an interesting effect. So this is just a flat um, plane, uh, but I wanted to kind of see if I could get kind of a ripply ocean effect. So um, on the left hand side, again, it's a very similar distortion. It's just a noise map, um, but there's, there's nothing stopping you doing other sorts of uh, distortion as well. Um, uh, and again, uh, it's uh, if, if I disable the, um, the node, it's, 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 I've, I've kind of put together a bit of a, a, a texture that's, that looks okay, but with the extra distortion um, here, which is just a black and white map again, um, you can get uh, you get some uh, some nice interesting effects, uh, which I've also included uh, as uh, as part of the download. So here I'm just just playing with changing the um, the distortion of the noise there, and that goes into the two D uh, distortion group mode and alters the whole effect. Um, so uh, that's that's it. So um, uh, again, it's available from Blender Market or Gun Road, or you've seen how it works here. Um, uh, but if uh, you want to feel like supporting me, then um, you can click on uh, one of the links in the description. Thank you. Bye bye.